we're going to make a pasta dough using semolina flour and some whole wheat flour. Our ingredients are three eggs, whole wheat flour, that's a half a cup, that's two cups of semolina flour, and this is a half a cup of water. The recipe actually calls for two-thirds of a cup of water. And I use a little black pepper. I like to put some freshly ground black pepper into my pasta dough. One egg gets mixed in to the semolina flour. Two eggs get mixed into the water. And I may not use all that water. I begin with the semolina in a bowl and I crack one egg into that and I'm going to use my fingers to, to work that egg into all that flour. These are uh, room temperature eggs, they've been sitting out for about two hours now. So I'm just going to get this all mixed in. with just this one egg. My hands are perfectly clean. Manicured, scrubbed. I don't use any oil, I don't use any salt. There's enough sodium in my uh, tomato sauce. So we're gonna make uh, we're gonna make linguine, and that's not gonna be till like seven o'clock tonight. This dough has to uh, rest. It has to have rest time in the fridge. I'm just using my fingertips and trying to mince that egg into this semolina. And these are like medium eggs. I can't seem to come across any large eggs in the supermarket anymore. I wouldn't do this in a food process food processor. I would be uh, afraid of uh, grinding the, the the wheat down. Okay, that's good enough. We're gonna add a little black, freshly cracked black pepper. You want that to be pretty fine. You don't want anything crunchy in there because it'll can cause the uh, pasta to come apart. And this is Hotskin's Mill stone ground whole wheat. It's a little bit more gritty, just slightly more gritty than your regular store-bought Hotskin's Mill stone ground. Okay, so now that goes in. No oil, no salt. Okay, here's our half a cup of water. Ooh. Actually, it's three quarters of a cup of water. The recipe calls for two thirds, 
with two and a half cups of flour. I have two cups of semolina and I have a half a cup of whole wheat for the two and a half cups. Then the water content is supposed to be two thirds of a cup. I go three quarters of a cup. I crack in my two eggs. that really dissolved up in there. And that's it. We're ready to make dough. So a little bit at a time. And I'll use my fork. I don't get my hands in there until we've got something to knead. The kneading's a little difficult. This tends to be a really stiff dough. So you want to work it. You work it to get your um, really stiff dough and you uh, put it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours for rest time which really completes the mixing part. I'm going to use my fingers. Your hands would be super clean. water I really don't think you could do this in a machine and really get the the noodle I get I'm gonna do linguine I'm going to use the Norpro pasta maker. Well, we're going to try it. We're going to see how it goes. See, I didn't use all that liquid. And there we have it. about two pounds of pasta and I may very well eat this whole two pounds of pasta it is so delicious okay that's how I do it I just press it and fold it that's it, we're done. That is pasta dough. 100% semolina with the Hotchkins Mill stone ground whole wheat. Three eggs. There. 
Now we're going to wrap that in plastic and it's going to sit in the fridge. Okay, we're going to wrap it in plastic. And not tight, because there's no oil or anything on there. And there's no yeast, so it's not going to expand. And that's going to go into the fridge.